zero zero game first off, which is ridiculous. I've never been a part of a game like that. That whole game was like a heart attack. So I just take a gamble. First pitch out the dude's hand. Tommy Tanks I threw my helmet in the air. I threw my bat. Do you feel like he's the greatest player of all time? <sighs> I'd say. So first question. So where were you born? I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. Favorite Louisiana food? I'd say, I mean, I know they have crawfish in like other places, but it's not nearly the same really? anywhere else but here. See, because I'm not like a big crawfish. I don't like seafood that much, but I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm from Louisiana. I don't really like that's seafood. That's terrible. I know. Everybody clowns me for it. No, that's really They're bad. like, how are you from Louisiana but you don't like seafood? Right. What do you not like about it? I just don't. You know, it's like if it's not like some people don't know how to cook seafood where it tastes right. too fishy and like the texture of it. Right. Yeah. I don't really like that. I do love fishing though. I love See, like fishing. I like fishing too, but I haven't really ever caught anything like oh. fishing. I like going out there, like getting like the boys like, all right, let's go fishing like type <laughs> of thing. But every time I go out there, I'm out there for like three hours. Or are you like bass fishing or like? I, I kind of just throw it out there. You know? Like where? Like in a in ocean? like a pond? In no, a pond? In a pond. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I need to go like offshores. Maybe I'll like definitely catch something. So we know we love baseball. Right. Second most favorite sport? Football. Like I used okay. to play football. Okay. Like I used to wish that I was better at football than baseball just because the glamour of being good at football. What position did you play? I played safety. Okay. Safety. Did you have a favorite NFL team, NFL player? Oh, I had a player. I like Paul Amalu. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I used to watch these highlights all the time. Yeah. That's, all the time. I was just watching a Paul Malu video today. Yeah, no, and the little head and shoulders commercials that he oh always my gosh, pops up in. Yes. Awesome. Like those, childhood memories. Yeah, those are amazing. But I'd say favorite team, the Saints, obviously. Even yeah, though there's a lot the of Saints. heartbreak there. We've almost made it <laughs> a yeah. couple of times. Almost made it a couple of yeah, times. Yeah, we always, then, no, you know, we always find a way to mess it up. You still follow football closely or? Um, not really. I mean, I got a couple of football friends at LSU. So like, I was going to say the hair kind of reminds me of Odell Beckham. Yeah, no, that's kind of who I modeled it after, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but then I kind of went my own direction with it. But the blonde was like. Yeah, I wanted to be able to do Well, it's funny, too, because you have, like, these acrobatic catches. Right. So it kind of, like, fits, <laughs> it it fits with it fits. perfectly. It fits perfectly. Okay, so you just got drafted. Right. Super exciting. So right. tell me about your draft day experience. Oh, it was awesome. But it was day two. So we were sitting there day one. I was getting, like, some calls from my advisor, you know, about teams, like, kind of looking at me. But they didn't, like, pull the trigger. Monday, I woke up from a text from them. He said, the Tampa Bay Rays are kind of like looking at you, but nothing's like concrete yet. So don't like, like take that with a grain of salt. Um, we'll see like where you go. And then we're texting more and more. And he's like, yeah, no, they really, they really want you. Like he calls me and he says, yeah, they're really looking at you. Like their picks in like 10 picks. I'll keep you updated. And then hangs up. So I'm sitting in front of the TV, like a, like a kid <laughs> on Christmas. Like, dude, if my phone rings again, like I'm on it. So he calls me again, and they're like six picks away. He calls me, says, congratulations, you're a Tampa Bay Ray. And then, like, we're just sitting there on the phone, like, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm just, like, <laughs> kind of starstruck. Yeah. And he has to hang up the phone because I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, what do I do now? So then he hangs up, so I put my phone down, and I tell my mom, I'm like, dude, it's coming. Like, it, like it's time. <laughs> and then it says, Tampa Bay on the clock. So I'm like, are they going to call me? Like, mm -hmm. what's going to go on? But no, don't get a call. It just pops up on the screen. The Tampa Bay Rays to like Trey Morgan. And then the whole room goes crazy. Yeah. yeah, no, it was awesome. Gave my dad a big hug. Gave my friend some high fives. It was definitely one of the best days of my yeah, life. Yeah, of course. You had an incredible game-saving play in the College World Series semifinal. Right. Walk me through that play. So we're sitting there, man on second. I think there was one out. Paul Skeens throws a nasty slider, strikes the dude out, but it gets to the backstop. Dude moves to third, uh, pass ball, dude gets to first. So instantly we're like, okay, they can't hit Paul. So the, they're going to bunt here. So the whole team, like all nine guys, look straight at Coach Johnson because he gives us our bunt coverage. So he goes through his bunt coverage, and I'm looking like, man, 
I don't really know which play that is. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. So I just take a gamble. As soon as Paul picked up his leg, I charged home. The dude didn't even square around the bunt yet. I started taking off. And thankfully, he bunted because I was, like, right up in his grill. Like, yeah. if he swung, I would have took it, like, off the face. Also, what was your favorite moment or favorite play from the College World Series other than, obviously, winning the championship? Other than that, I'd say same game, um, 11th inning. Uh, we're getting – we're at the top of the lineup, you know. 0-0 zero, zero game, first off, which is – Ridiculous. I've never been a part of a game like that. That whole game was like a heart attack. The two best pitchers in college baseball, Rhett Louder, Paul Skeens. So Dylan walks up there and starts off with a single. And I'm like, okay, like Tommy's going to hit a double here. It's going to be second and third, no outs. And I'm going to come up and kind of get the job done. First pitch out the dude's hand, hung slider, Tommy deposits it into left field. Dude, I threw my helmet in the air. I threw my bat. It was like I hit the home run. Like, <laughs> I'm jumping around. I'm like, let's go. And then we just had one day to kind of <laughs> love yeah, that. Like then we had to show up and play again. But that that point in time, like, once we got back to the hotel, I was like, dude, we can't lose. Yeah. Do you have a favorite savage moment in MLB history? There's been so many savage moments. I I'd like. say... I say nothing gets, nothing's better than Randy Rosarena hitting the Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> hitting the, I feel like, I know every time I do it, like af after we hit a homer or something and I'm looking at our dugout and we hit it, I'm like, dude, I feel so cool right now. <laughs> dude, <laughs> like, I love it. It's so savage. Like, yeah. it's so cold. I'm like, just... I know these pictures are going to be so dope. Dude, like, they are. Then they are. So hard every time. It is so good. So hit the Tommy right now. Oh, yeah, he's just... I like to kind of lean back in it. Get that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you could pick one current pitcher to hit a home run against, who would it be? One current? I'd say, I'd say Shohei. Just because I feel so cool. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's the top. Like, that's, that's the dude, dude in baseball, hitting and pitching. So if I were to hit a home run off him, I'd, I'd feel like the Yeah, man, like everybody's sure. talking about him. That's literally my next question is, like, if you had to pick, like, Otani or Acuna Jr., who's your MVP? I mean, obviously Otani just because he does both. But I think Acuna has mastered what, like, his craft. Yeah. But Shohei has mastered both crafts. Oh, yeah, he's so, nuts. So it's not fair. Do you but, feel like he's, like, the greatest player of all time? Or? I mean, I don't know too much about, like, old school baseball. I don't really look into it. But I know nobody else is doing that to Dude, that level. Yeah. That's insane. Some people are saying he's, like, the best athlete across all sports, like, better than – I mean, it just takes a special athlete to even do one of those things in baseball, like hit a baseball or throw a baseball 100 oh, yeah. miles an hour. But he does both, so, so it's wild. like so. Obviously, you gotta you gotta put him up there. So Bob Wilson was the last player to win the National League MVP and Cy Young Award in 1968. If Otani goes crazy in the second half, you think he could be an MVP and also a Cy Young Award winner? Yeah, I mean that's literally because the MVP is usually the hitter's award. Yeah, and then the Cy Young's obviously the pitcher's award. But if he's the best in both, you got to give him both. Oh, like, it's got to be him. At least one time. Like, at least one season, you got to be like, okay, like, you earned it.